All right, to black is here. And you know how I'm always criticizing people. I'm always saying stuff don't work. And I'm always telling people not to buy certain things. Well, guys, <clears throat> you can't really talk about something until you try it, right? Look what I bought. Yep, that's right. I bought a fix. So what my plan is, I'm going to program it, plug it into my F-150. Right now, nothing is wrong with my F-150. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason I bought it. I was watching a video, and the guy was showing, he was looking at all these different parameters on his car using the, uh, the fix thing, right? So I'm wondering, can I, you know, see how much boost my EcoBoost is putting out? with this we're gonna find out I also plan to get it on something y'all ready you recognize this sensor this is the $20 sensor that cost me $400 toy well, anyway my plan is to put this sensor back in the truck because it's supposed to be bad and when you put it in the sensor tell the truck is running hot and I want to see, you know, they claim that this thing right here will tell you exactly what's wrong with your truck. Well, my code reader just said that the truck was, it was a $12.99. And I can't remember what the hell it said. But anyway, I will start the video when I plug this thing up. Let y'all know. Hey guys, check this out. I forgot to bring my damn camera out to the truck. But uh, it wasn't hard. I just, um, I already got the app. And I registered the app or whatever, and well, I signed on, signed into the app, and then it told me to plug it into the car, plugged into the truck, and it asked me to give it a name. I gave it a name, and it said there's two problems with my truck: left hand high beam circuit, right hand high beam circuit. There's no problem with my headlights. Um. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. The headlights are fine. But check this out. When you click on confirm fixing cost, it wants you to upgrade. It will only tell you this information if you upgrade. Ain't that some crap? So to upgrade, you click this. Now it wants me to pay $69 per year. Forget that. So the only way they sit up, now they advertise that, oh, it'll tell you where to go and how much it costs, but you got to pay extra for that. Now, you don't bought the ODB thing. And now I'm, now I'm kind of wondering, I don't know, are they getting paid by a shop or something? Because there's nothing wrong with my headlights. I mean, my headlights, as far as I know, are fine. I got no check engine light. They come on. But, so, to tell you the truth, I think I don't, I bought this crap for nothing. What I bought it for, I don't even think I'm going to be able to use. Because, like I said, I wanted to see, you know, they was advertising about how you can, um, you know, see all the different parameters inside your car. I don't think it let me, it's going to let me do any of that. Not without upgrading to $69. So, um... All I can say is don't waste your money on this crap. Don't waste your money on this crap. Now let's see. This is checking to see the mile. I mean, see how much the car vehicle value. Let's see how much the truck is valued. Okay. My mileage is, I think it's seven, eight thousand. We'll just say seven, eight thousand five hundred. No validation found for this vehicle. I guess he wants me to pay that sixty nine dollars a month. Ain't that some crap? Ain't that some smack? Um. Let's see, can we live gauges? 
I'm gonna start the. I'm gonna move my truck on level ground because I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put that sensor in, and we're gonna see can we get it to work. I right, got. Let's see can we do this gauge stuff, live gauge stuff. Let's see where this work. Mile per hour zero RPM six seventy three. What was that calculated engine load 30 percent see can we get a boost gauge why is it saying exit live So what I bought it for, it won't even do. I bought it because I wanted to see, could I read the boost gauge? And it don't even show boost gauge. It probably don't even damn know the truck is turbocharged. Cause it never, it never asked me, it never said what kind of engine was in here. How can you read the, the parameters of an engine and it didn't even recognize, it never said anything about a 2.7 you never asked me, was it a 5.0? Didn't say anything. And that, and I'm, I'm quite sure this sucker is not putting out six pounds of boost at idle. Yeah, this ain't it. So guys, this is a waste of money. Waste of freaking money. Now, I, I will admit, the mile per hour gauge is seem to be correct. Now the engine done cut off, it's still showing 14 PSI of pressure. Tires are showing 14 PSI of pressure, the damn motor ain't even running. Guys, okay. I'm gonna put in the bad sensor and we gonna see, well hell, it ain't gonna tell me. I mean, it ain't gonna tell me, it ain't gonna tell me what's wrong, but I'm gonna put it in and see what happens. All right, Tim, I'm taking the little temperature sensor out the side of the head and I'm going to put in the one that was bad. And we're going to see what the computer say. I know it's kind of hard to see, but. Damn thing took me longer to figure out what arm size socket. I can't remember what size socket. Here's the good one. Let's put in the old one. And I've been meaning to do this anyway. I said I ought to put it in, take it to a damn Ford dealership and see how much they charge to fix it. Anyway, I started the video when I, um, when I turn it on. All right, so I put this, the bad sensor back in. Let's crank the truck up and see what happens. Hood is a jar. Yeah, we know that. There it is. I was wondering how long it was going to take. Look at that sucker. Says it's running hot. Said engine cooling temperature. Okay, let's see what the down, what this say. the fix app and scan the vehicle tap to scan and it won't even let the air conditioning work I'm burning up And hurry up, I'm burning up, dude. Major driver impact could cause damage to your vehicle with continual driving. 
cylinder head, cylinder head over temp temp. Uh, it's got a 1299 and a 1285. So let's see what. Severe issues. See how this, how rare this is. Cylinder head over temperature, protective, protection active. Okay, high severity. This is a problem, possible issue, and is only only a problem if paired with a dash light. Uh, it has a dash light. I got to get out of this car. I'm burning up. If no dash light is present, it is likely safe to ignore. Issue com commonality. Based on other vehicle fix has scanned, this issue is considered. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. So in order for you, for it to tell you, you got to buy the damn what you call it ain't that some crap you spend you buy it but you you gotta buy the 69 dollar for it to tell you what's wrong see they won't tell you it on the youtube channels it won't it won't it won't tell you it won't tell you what to fix ain't that some trip you gotta buy it and then you gotta pay extra money for it to tell you what's wrong I gotta get out of this damn car, it's hot. Guys, this is what it says, word for word. The engine cylinder head has detected a higher than specified temperature. The ECM has activated fail safe mode by reducing the engine power to help prevent further engine damage. It is recommended to have the car towed to the closest service center and have the engine diagnosed and repaired. Uh, I thought it's supposed to tell me exactly what's wrong with the car. Ain't that some, so in other words, they lied. They lied. Ain't that some crap? They lied. All them damn commercials, they lied. It's supposed, it's supposed to tell, it don't tell me what to do. I thought it's supposed to tell me what it, what is wrong and how much it going to cost. So it would, I would know. I knew it was some bull crap. But I said, you know what? I can't talk about it until I tried. Well, now I tried it. And I, I already knew it was some bull crap at first. This Dre, y'all have a good day. I'm going to put my good sensor back in.